Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about the TB6600 stepper motor driver, which is this one here. So this one is used in controlling larger two-phase bipolar stepper motors, for example the NEMA 17 and 23 motors that are used in 3D printers, CNC machines and also in a number of robotics. So normally when you go to purchase this motor driver, you're also going to come across another motor driver which is this one here, this other one. is the TB6560. I've done a separate tutorial on how to use this motor driver with Arduino. So, but these motor drivers, the connection with Arduino and even the coding is the same. But they have some differences. Just as you can see here, the appearance is different and even some of the performance is different. For example, the operating voltage of TB6600 is from 9 to 42 volts DC, while for this one is from 10 to 35 volts DC. This one uses 3.5 amps peak current, while well, this one uses 4 amps peak current. Even the micro step resolution is different. This one has a, a resolution of up to 1 out of 32, while well, this one only stops at 1 out of 16. The clock frequency of this one is 200 kilohertz, while well, this one is 15 kilohertz. Even the appearance here, you see this one is quite well built. The electronics is covered and even has a larger heat sink compared to this one here. So in most cases, if you have projects that need uh, more accuracy and more current, then the TB6600 stepper motor driver is preferred to the TB6560 stepper motor driver. You can visit the links in the description below so that you can have further look at the major differences and how these two motor drivers work with Arduino. But for today, I'm mainly going to concentrate on the TB6600 stepper motor driver. So as you can see, this motor driver has these tables here. The upper table, this one represents the micro step resolution. And the other one is the running current for driving the motors. These tables will give you how you have to adjust the pins, the DIP, the DIP pins here as you can see. These DIP pins are adjusted depending on the tables that are drawn on top here. So depending on the micro step mode that you want to use and the amount of current that is being supplied to the motors, you adjust here. For example here, these, th these six DIP switches have been adjusted. So right here this is in full step mode and this is one amp of current supply. Whenever you want to make adjustments, you can just make reference here and adjust according to how you are going to be setting up your motor driver and the motor that you are going to be using and the current supply. So now let me have a look at how the TB6600 stepper motor driver is connected to Arduino and also a bipolar stepper motor. So this is how we are going to connect our TB6600 stepper motor driver to Arduino and to a bipolar stepper motor. So this side of the driver is going to be connected to our Arduino board and what we do we connect all the negative terminals for the pulse direction and the enable pins to Arduino ground. Then the, the pulse positive is going to be connected to Arduino pin 5. The direction positive is going to be connected to pin 2. And the enable positive is going to be connected to pin 8. You can leave the enable pins floating. In other words, you may leave them not connected to anything because they are by default low, meaning that the output pins are enabled. But I always prefer connecting them to Arduino ground and uh, the positive to an Arduino digital pin so that I can find it easier in case I need to disable the motor using the software program then it will be easier. This other half of the driver is where you connect the power supply and also the connection to the stepper motor. So on our power supply we have the ground and the VCC. Here you connect a DC voltage from 9 volts to 42 volts. In my case I'm using 12 volts. Then these four terminals here uh, for connecting the corresponding coils of the bipolar stepper motor. So we are going to have the first pair of coils is going to be connected to A plus and A minus and then the second pair of coils is going to be connected to B plus and B minus. So before connecting the wires you have to know which of the wires belong to the same coil of the stepper motor. In case your motor has not specified the wires belonging to, to each of the coils you can use a simple trick here to know which, which wires belong to the same coil of the stepper motor. So let me show you how you can test that. 
So if you're using this kind of motor like the one I'm using, normally there's no need of checking which wires belong to the same coil because the wires are arranged in order. So you'll find that the red and blue wires belong to the same coil and even the green and black wires belong to the same coil. But if your motor does not specify which wires belong to which coil, then the trick is simple. So simply just connect the bare. For example, if I connect the blue and red wires here and I turn this shaft here, you the shaft will have there will be a lot of resistance in turning the shaft so when you feel a lot of resistance that means these two wires belong to the same coil if you try the same with the wires from the different coil for example if i connect blue and green then connect blue and green so if i connect blue and green and then i turn the shaft the motor shaft will move freely in other words there will be less resistance in turning the shaft so that's how you simply identify which of these wires belong to the same coil. Just connect the wires, the ones which gives you resistance in turning the shaft, meaning those two pairs of those two wires belong to the same coil. So after connecting the TB6600 stepper motor driver to Arduino and a to a bipolar stepper motor, you can check out the kind of code that you are going to be using to run this motor. This is the code you are going to be using to run our stepper motor using the TB6600 stepper motor driver first of all you have to declare the pins connected to the arduino board so we declare the step pin or the pulse pin the direction pin and the enable pin with their corresponding pins where they are connected then the setup section we simply initiate these pins as output and then the enable pin is also declared as low or is set as low so that we can be able to enable the driver then the loop section is where we determine the number of steps that the motor is going to be taking to complete a revolution so for example here we are going to be using these four lines of code to send a pulse to the step pin so that you can be able to have one micro step then the for loop repeats these four lines for a given number of times for example in this case this for loop is going to repeat these four lines 800 times so it depends on the micro step resolution for your motor that you have set the motor driver if the motor driver has been set in the quarter step micro step resolution then it means that 800 steps will result into one revolution so this code will be able to turn the motor one revolution if the driver is in a quarter step mode if it is in half step mode every revolution needs 200 steps so it means this code is going to turn the motor two times in half step mode then in full step mode it will be turning four times because in full step mode one revolution is 200 steps we have used this direction pin to determine the direction of rotation of the motor and that is done by changing the state of this pin if the pin is high the motor will be rotating in one direction and if you turn it low then it changes the direction of rotation so we have used the delay microseconds function to control the speed of rotation so the shorter the delay here the higher the frequency and therefore the faster the motor will be rotating so let's upload this code to our arduino and then we see how the motor is going to be moving with the TB6600 stepper motor driver. So I have now uploaded the code into the Arduino and also set my TB660 stepper motor driver to a quarter step mode where I want to see what will happen if I'm using 800 steps per revolution. So first of all, let me first turn on the motor driver. So when the motor driver is switched on, you will see a blue light here. There is a light indicating the power supply is on. Then after that, you can put on or turn on the Arduino and then we see what will happen. So you can see now the motor is turning one revolution in one direction and then changes to another direction. That's because it is now in a quarter step mode, meaning that it will only turn one revolution because I've set 800 steps per revolution. Now let me set it to a half step mode and then we see what will happen to the rotation. To change the micro step resolution, we need to adjust these DIP pins on this side, but we should never adjust the DIP pins when the driver is on. So first of all, you need to first switch off the driver and then you set the DIP switches. Otherwise, you may end up damaging your motor driver. So I have now adjusted the DIP switches to a half-step mode. So let me turn on the Arduino and then we see how the motor is going to move. We are still using the same code. And now as you can see, because I am using half-step mode, the motor will be turning two revolutions in one direction and then two revolutions in the other direction. This is because now the motor is now rotating 400 steps per revolution. And in a code we are using 800 steps so finally let me put it in full step mode and then we see also what happens there so i've now adjusted to full step mode let me put on the arduino 
So there you can see the motor is now moving four revolutions in one direction and then turns to four revolutions in the other direction. But the code is still the same. So that is the simple working of this TB6600 stepper motor driver with Arduino. You can check the description below for the code schematics and even further explanation of how this motor driver works with Arduino and even further coding, even including the libraries for Arduino. Hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.